going on, Basehead family? Extremely excited today. We just got a new sub in from Black Brick. By far the biggest sub I've ever had on this channel. This is the Black Brick Brick House. 300 watt RMS sub. Let's get right into this, guys. Let's run over some specs. I want to give Austin over at Blackbrick Audio a huge, huge shout out for sending me this sub to review for y'all. You have no idea how excited I am, guys. Y'all, this is the biggest sub I've ever reviewed on the channel. But real quick, let's see what we got going on here. I also do want to mention Blackbrick Audio does have a full new line of subs out, which is awesome. Of course, y'all have seen the heavy hitter on here. And here's the brick house that we have now, but they have the Mosquito, the Belligerent, the Great Eight. Now, I have not actually seen any of these in person yet, but these look pretty cool, guys. Really, really stoked on how these subs came out. But we want to see the black, the uh, brick house, of course. We have a die cast basket, non-pressed paper cone. We have a four inch, eight layer, flat aluminum heat coated coil. And guys, it is absolutely massive we have a huge 450 ounce ferrite triple stack motor dual two ohms 3000 watts rms and 6000 watts peak the x max is 36 millimeters one way which is absolutely nuts fs is 42.7 hertz frequency response is 29 to 350 hertz sensitivity is 82.8 db and this thing likes a big box. It says 3 to 3.75 cubic feet, tuned to 32 hertz. Now this box is 2.5 cubic feet, tuned to 32 hertz. So it'll be a teeny bit on the small end of what this guy could take. But it can't really hurt being smaller. Just might lose out a little bit of uh, output. For a quick comparison, here is the heavy hitter. Absolutely loved this sub as well, guys. This was a great, great sub. But look at the difference. This thing is absolutely monstrous. That is ridiculous, guys. I'm overwhelmed, guys. This is so much bigger than any sub I've had. Even this Sundown X that we have in here. I'll pull this out to compare them both just so you can see how absolutely huge this guy is also this sub is 71 pounds and let me tell you you can feel it when you're picking this guy up now what is really really awesome about this sub guys is this guy is only 499 that is really an awesome deal you're getting a four inch voice coil which is huge not a lot of subs have a voice coil that big if you need something that can just take some insane raw power I think this guy is going to have you covered. Of course, we're going to check that out for you, but guys, this thing is wild. This is some sort of like carbon Kevlar or something. I forget. Stupid stiff, though. Of course, the cone is very stiff as well. We have this awesome mega roll surround. It is uh, double stitched down. We have this absolutely huge basket. This thing is very thick, very sturdy, really like it. We have these big 8-gauge leads, and it's a super nice and flexy wire. These things are beautiful. And we have the big flat tinsel leads sewn into the spider right there, as you can see. Looks really awesome. Of course, big old triple joint right there. We have this massive, massive voice coil, guys. This is the first sub I've ever had with a four inch voice coil. And it's just got that big, wide copper coil on there. Just absolutely insane. And of course, this ridiculous motor. Like, 
you have no idea how big this thing is. You'll see when I get the Sundown out. It's even bigger than the motor on the Sundown X we got. No offense to Sundown here, but this guy dwarfs this X12. And of course, the Sundown is more expensive than this guy as well. Just look at how huge that motor is compared to the Sundowns. And of course, with the Sundown, while we do get a great, great coil, this only has a 3-inch coil, whereas we get a whole inch larger coil over here, which is just ridiculous. Now, I've looked all over this guy. Everything seems to be excellent for the most point. Only thing I do see is there's barely any glue on these screws over here. There is some. There's not none. But you'll see a lot of stuff will have a big glob of glue over them. That being said, I've never, ever seen one of these guys back out. But I have heard some people say that it is good to make sure there's a big glob of glue on those since these things obviously vibrate a lot. That's the only thing I saw that is slightly concerning. Of course, not a major concern whatsoever. We're going to see how this thing does. I highly, highly doubt we're going to have any issues, but I did want to make sure to let you all know. But anyway, guys, it's time to throw this thing in the box and let her rip. Right out of the box, guys. This thing is awesome. That was the first time I played it right there. Really put some power into it, and it was moving. It's got a really, really nice kind of deep, crisp sound to it. So, so happy, guys. Guys, having a nice box can just make a world, world of difference. Definitely recommend getting a nice custom box if you're going to go to a bigger setup like this. You guys over at King City Customs had built me this box. Now, they're not paying me to say this or anything, guys, but this box is excellent, and uh, they do make these things, and they will ship them to you, so that is absolutely awesome. I have loved this box. Look how massive that guy is sitting there in the box, guys. It is just huge. Okay, well, I am legit gonna let this guy break in for a few days, this thing is still pretty stiff, so I definitely want to let that suspension break in so we can get the full potential out of this guy, and I can let y'all know what I think about it. Okay, y'all, I've let this thing break in for almost a week now, so we're ready to really start pushing it and then do our normal test. Now, real quick thing, I talked to Austin, who is uh, the owner of Black Brick. He said, for all my viewers and subscribers, if you guys want to get an extra discount on anything on a store of 22%, which is honestly absolutely insane... When you go to check out from his store, if you put in the discount code pound with Parker, you will get an extra 22%. Guys, that is wild. That means this sub, which is already only $4.99, which is an insane price for a sub with a 4-inch voice coil, that would drop it down to $400, which is honestly just ridiculous, guys. Anyway, if you want to grab some insane deals, because again, that's anything on this site, 22% off, pound with Parker.
hour, no problem whatsoever, guys. Did you see that? Peaking up into 4,500 watts or so, staying really consistent between kind of 2,500 and 3, and it just kept going. It didn't even break a sweat, didn't smell the coil or anything. And I have smelled the coil on this before, just uh, playing it these last few days. Surprised I made it through that whole song without smelling anything whatsoever. Let's see how hot this guy is. Okay, we got some uh, nice heat over on the dust cap, but not scorching hot or anything like that. Guys, made it through like a champ. This thing is a horse. Time for the DB test, guys. Box peaks at 43 hertz, and we have the SMD AMM1 hooked up so we can see the uh, peak power that we're able to put through this guy. Now, I will say, even though I broke it in some, this still is a really stiff sub. Got a big old massive 4-inch coil on it. So I'm not expecting the hugest numbers I've ever seen out of this, but I bet we'll do something at least half decent. 700 watts. Got a 133.8. 1300 watts. Got a 153.3. Thing was moving there guys it says 2,000 watts and we got a 138.1 there we go 3,000 watts we got a 141.4 that was maxed out there 3,500 watts we got a 141.1 give her another shot That time we were at about uh, 4,000 watts. And we got a 142.7. We'll try her again, I suppose. 5,200 watts. And we got a 143. We're going to try uh, rolling into it, see if we can get above that 153. See what we can do. We got a 144.3. We got about 4,600 watts. 143.3 is super impressive, especially for a sub this just big and stiff. But I'm gonna crank it up one more notch, see if we can squeeze a 145 out of it. Well, we got a 144.4. And that was at 6,200 watts. I let everything cool off here for like 15 minutes. Gonna give it one more try, see if we can squeeze any more out of it. Nope, only a 144.3 there. So I think that 144.4 is the best we're gonna get. a little stinky there playing that last song but you saw the power we were pushing to it guys that is wild this guy is an absolute monster well that's really going to do it for this video guys if you want a big old sub that takes a ton of power and gets loud this is the guy for you now we'll say as far as quality and whatnot there probably are uh, better options out there but again I don't think this is more so for quality. This is, again, more so for just taking a ton of raw power and really being able to hold up. I have loved having this thing in here the past week, guys. Huge, huge shout out to Black Brick for sending me this uh, Brick House 12. It has been absolutely awesome. Guys, check out the link in the description and make sure to use that uh, discount code if you want to get one of these or something else on their website 
for an insanely awesome deal. Please let me know what y'all thought of this sub. Uh, what are some other subs that you think would compare to this guy? Let me know. Let me know what you think of that price point on this sub, $4.99. Let me know, guys. And as always, let me know what you want me to do next. Thanks again. Really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And remember, y'all, keep basing on.